All right, so did we get to go? Oh, we got little facts waiting. Okay, no, he started. He started. It's all good. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one. That's five lights out, and away we go here in FC2. Right now with a really bad start. Oh my goodness, we've got everybody launching off to the side. Drivers everywhere. Let's go down and see turn one. All the action here where we've got seen apparently three drivers in tandem. Two drivers in tandem. Red oh. Pass getting destroyed. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Red had a... Up here we've got Ludofax, we've got uh, CT Cuber, and we've got Crumcat all up here in the top three positions. We've got a battle here, a tandem battle for the front two. Yeah, 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 for sure. But you get, it's a very kind of like the F1 always in racing, so they have to keep it cool, keep cool head, and uh, push on to these corners really well. Um, TTT Cuber is very dangerous position. He's almost getting um, in the way of, or almost bumping. Little fast, little goes a little bit wide, but TT goes even wider. And that takes him out of tandem, but that puts him in tandem with Crumcat for now P2. Let's see the uh, BCC tune turn. Oh, Crumcat goes a little bit too eager on the inside and gets overtaken by Antonio. Yes, as they mow on the inside. So they're just spreading out a bit more now, folks, as we got P1, 2, 3 all pretty far away from each other now. But we still got battles in P5 around there with Crumcat, who just mowed with Pana right now as well. Absolutely. We've got all these drivers coming out. We've got Crumcat, actually, because they ate the inside, they're now in tandem with uh, uh, Pana. Pana, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, we'll see how that happens. They're getting pretty close, actually, up to Antonio. Yes, they can't get too eager. Getting uh, tandem battles behind back markers are quite stressful. But it looks like, actually, Panda lost that position. I don't know what happened there, but they're actually falling behind. Um, going up to see Ludofax and CT Game Cuber. Uh, ooh, CT Cuber. Uh, looks like they're really close to one another. Ooh. Um, probably, possibly in tandem. Yeah, CT Cuber is within that second, but that is ridiculously close to getting bumped. That gap right there is not safe. Uh, we got Ludofax going around. Uh oh, a little bit of uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah, uh oh, 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 goodness, Ludo, yeah. what the fuck? Oh no, oh, no Ludo Omega dies. Oh my gosh, Ludo Omega dies. CT Cuber actually kept going. Easiest oh, overtaking his life. There. Wait, oh yeah, the little cat's caught up a little bit because CT Cuber mowed on the inside just a little bit, so now uh, Ludo Fax oh, is God. trailing right behind. We got uh, Crumcat following behind as well as Antonio Yes and Moe's on the apex okay. behind them. Yeah, Crumcat and Antonio Yes were actually both in tandem. I think what happened was uh, Crumcat maybe have uh, lagged Antonio Yes to the inside there. Yeah, probably. But yeah, right, grid's spraying out we now. We got Panna coming in for the pit. Let's see where they come out. This is about uh, the pit delta I calculated. This is about 27 seconds plus the pig stop. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, that's what I got to. are going to get jump scared by the pig stop. <laughs> See how fast they do this? 3.45 seconds, so not too bad, not too bad. It looks like Pano is the only one opting to do their pit for the first lap. Everybody else is going right through. Renokas bringing up the extreme rear. Let's see how Renokas <laughs> ends up favoring. Where did Renokas he, He's go? stuck in the middle of the red. He's stuck in the middle of the red. Oh no, this is unfortunate. Hey, Reno, do you want to go? Oh! oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, no! He's struggling here. It looks like he's experiencing boat issues. <laughs> His engine's not really working really well. Oh no! Stalling out a little bit in the middle of the road. Man's oh, called yellow flag. Oh my goodness! There he goes, and he's off. All right, let's go. All set. <laughs> <laughs> Streaming in chat, help! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's go see, uh, let's go see, uh, let's see where we got battles. Maybe Skip's now? Yeah, I was Maybe watching them. Close to Samik B? Yeah, uh, two turns ago, actually, Samik went really wide, and Skip's have had the opportunity to overtake, but he also went really wide. So, um, I think these two definitely are going to be an interesting, uh, entertaining to do with a watch right now. As we're going into a more difficult section of the track, actually, with uh, the asses coming up. Oh my goodness, Skip Snuff eating all of that wide corner. Holy moly. Damn. Goodness gracious me. I got a 1.1 second gap from Crumcat. Oh, Renocast going in for his pit. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he straight up didn't even get the pig stop. He didn't trigger the oh, pig stop. What uh, happened? Well, I mean, the, the pig stop rate is super big, so he should eventually get it. Oh, we got the fast. Actually, P2 going into the pit as Crumcat caught up to them was only one second behind. <laughs> Renocast completed a 15 second pit. It finally fired. 
Walter, look out! <laughs> Your ban is in the way, look out! Surprisingly, I think that's actually not even the slowest uh, pace stop time we've seen in FC2. I think last race, Ozone got like a 15.5 or something, and, uh, and that ruined his race, so... <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, I think, oh, think so in the previous race, yeah. So here we come, we have Ludofax coming through and Tony Mass right on his butt. Let's see who pits faster, they're side by side. Ludofax completing in 4.65 and Tony Mass completing 4.75, so Ludofax does end up going a tenth faster and stays ahead. My goodness, these two are battling it out. Uh, the meanwhile, uh, while those two pitted, we have Samik, B, and Skip Snuff coming in behind them. Um, Walt is still in the way. <laughs> Want to look out! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so we have uh, Samic B coming through. I believe this is, might be Samic B's first pig stop, so let's see how he handles it. 8.1 second! Okay, that gives Skip Snuff a big, huge uh, gap up to him. Let's see, Skip Snuff completing it in just under 4 seconds, 3.95. Um, so, meanwhile, because Ludo Fax and Antonio S decided to pit, that does give CT. Huber, the race, the lead of this race. I think he's actually Coming totally uh, net P1. Looking at the gaps, he's definitely over 30 seconds ahead of the Lufax. He's actually, currently leading. You're yeah. kind of correct. I wonder what happened. Where isn't, uh, they weren't leading the race when Lufax went into the pit, were they? I think they were, yeah. No, they, they were. Yeah. They were, okay. Remember uh, the lag happened? Wait, I think, yeah, the lag happened in CT Huber got in front of Dudo. But yeah, I'm watching, uh, I'm watching, I think, this Crumcat right now. Uh, Renault is actually right in between Crumcat and CTT Huber. Um, so, interesting. yeah, Renault is actually holding up right now. I think he's going to survive for a good little bit here until his Wi-Fi goes out again. <laughs> um, but yeah, he seems to be holding up just fine. Yeah, this could end up uh, being very, very bad for Crumcat if Renault decides... Oh, Renault decided to pit. Crumcat oh. decides to pit behind him. Oh, no! What are you doing? And what we see here is an unfair advantage by Renault just having people on top of him. They can't have Crumcat go over them in the pit lane. Unfair advantage. I think we should disqualify, oh honestly. Oh my gosh. Kick, kick, ban, ban, kick. Very, oh very goodness. clear violation of the rules that no one wrote down. Oh my goodness. Nah, but in all seriousness, I think they're too far away to like actually have that happen, so. Well, we'll actually see if Renault <laughs> just doesn't hit this pit region and uh, end up pitting like 25 seconds. True, okay. that is very... Oh, much it. better. Oh, he did. Much he better. He pit time by <laughs> approximately 10 seconds. Largest improvement we've ever seen. <laughs> Chromecat doing 2.65 second pit. <laughs> Alright, so they gapped way up. Actually, I actually don't even think they gapped way up. I think because it didn't fire for Renault Cast, he actually did a regular pit stop. So the gap is still right there. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, CT... Hubert is farther ahead now. Let's see, actually as Crumcat does barely come out ahead of Lewis Oh, Pax. but then they mow on the inside and that gets Lewis past Pax. And then Antonio has to come in right here at the fastest speed. They're going to pass his rod. They're going to be in limbo after this next turn. Oh, yes, you're in limbo. Why don't Crumpack go through because he goes on the inside? Antonio, yes, gets unlucky with the boat lag. He has to go wide and he loses the position to Crumcat. Unfortunate. Yeah, he's what out of limbo too now, yeah. Yeah, they're out of limbo. Um, let's see, uh, and Crumcat's actually taking an inside line. I think they're gonna squeeze Antonio Yes at the end of this corner. Crumcat going really inside. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Antonio Yes is in trouble! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I saw that coming from a mile away. That's so unfortunate. Alright, meanwhile, up in the head, Crumcat is catching up a little bit to Ludofax. Ludofax is getting held up by Renokas. Uh, not really held up. I think they got enough room, but Ludofax needs to be very, very careful because. All of a sudden, Renault Cast can go from 60 meters per second to 0 meters per second, as we've seen two times <laughs> in, this, yeah. in this event so far. So let's see. Oh, Little Fax going really wide. Crumcat taking a slightly better line, closing that gap a little bit more? Question mark? Yeah, two, uh, two tenths. All right, interesting. Little Fax actually losing a bit of time to Renault Cast. Oh. Crumcat taking it slightly wide. Let's see uh, where Antonio Yes is. Antonio Yes coming through the S's as well. Trying to get that time back that they lost. A huge bump. It's so tough. Actually, I experienced this in the FC1 race. Getting bumped in this race is actually extremely bad in most of the places. Because it's such a high speed track, you can go from very high speeds to no speed. And that costs you so much time. So as you can see, that bump on and, uh, when Crumcat bumped Antonio Yes, they lost about five or six seconds 
which is a really lot of time. That can make a huge difference. Ludofax going in for a second pit says no thank you to Renocast. Crumbcat staying out. Hopefully Renocast doesn't lag. Uh, I think Renocast's pace should be able to be good enough to not hold up Crumbcat, but it's safer to pit, honestly, because uh, you have no idea what's going to happen with his lag. Yeah, very, very true. You definitely the limiting factor on Renocast's uh, back marker ability on uh, Crumbcat right now is the lag, like you were saying. Definitely not the skill, because he has the skill. He's, he's really good at the driver. He's definitely an SC one driver. But um, but yeah, with the lag, I mean, that kind of makes it a lot more difficult to follow. Absolutely. Unfortunately, Ludofax coming with a 4.9 second pig stop. That is not that good of a time. Let's see where they come out. Um, it turns out Ludofax and Renocast are the only two to complete a pig stop. Uh, and Ludofax should be able to come out ahead of Samik, appears. Ludofax has found a really lot of clean air. So if he can put in some really fast times, he could actually start closing the gap to uh, Crumbcat and maybe even CT Cuber HD. And Hotspot's actually up there as well. Actually, Hotspot is very close yeah. uh, to cutting ahead of Crumbcat. Seems that Hotspot is actually ahead of Antonio Yes with the Pit Delta, and not quite ahead of Crumbcat yet. Needs a little bit more time. Which, let's go see uh, Crumbcat's battle with Renokas. See if they've actually uh, managed to close the gap at all. Yes, yeah, something I want to point out. Renokas absolutely taken off though yeah yeah it's understandable from him as he, like like we we're talking about he's a pretty good driver but something i want to talk about um is crumbcat actually um can take this opportunity that they gave them um because they got like that what like 4.6 pace stop if if uh crumbcat's really good at pace stops and can get like a two second faster pace stop which is about average then they can maybe actually get this undercut even though like uh neither player has back markers or anything mm-hmm Actually, oh, uh -oh. Right, I've uh -oh. teleported it around, and it appears that, uh, oh, well, now he's gone, gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it actually looked like Crumbcat and Antonio, yes, both were able to overtake Renokasa. I don't know if he lagged or what happened there, <laughs> but uh, they both passed. Yeah, Crumbcat, going for that pit, though. In for their pit. And Crumbcat, yeah, yeah. behind CT Cuber HD. Oh, and Antonio, yes, being also putting right behind them, also, uh, Crumbcat messed up the entrance, so it had terrible speed on the entrance, but uh, Antonio, yes, with the better entrance, getting way closer to Crumbcat than ever before, right behind, he actually might get the overtake in the pits that you are talking about beforehand with the uh, driving over them in the pit lane. Top take! <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Top um, take, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the top take. Over the boat take. <laughs> over, just to have an overtake. Um... Let's see, Antonio oh. Yes going in for the pit. Crumcat getting a really fast pig stop, 2.65. Antonio yeah. Yes not being able to match with 3.45. That's exactly what Crumcat needed, but unfortunately they did enter the pit terribly. They lost a lot of time to that, so I don't know if they're actually going to get that undercut I was talking about with Lilifax. Lilifax, yeah, coming through the turn one right now. Lilifax is going to come out in front of Crumcat. Far ahead of Crumcat. All right, so now the race is on. We have Lilifax with two pits, only 13 seconds, about 14 seconds behind Panna. Hotspot has now taken the lead of the race because CT Cuber HD decided to pit, and it. Uh, wait, Hotspot has big gap Hotspot actually. Yeah. The Hotspot actually has the overcut on CT Cuber HD. Yeah, yeah. Hotspot gets a good pig stop and enters the pit just good enough, and then like he can get in front of CT Cuber on like the next lap on their out lap. Not. Wonder what happened to CB C, uh, CT, CT Cuber. Let's see. Interesting. It looks like they have clean air. They must yeah. have had a really tough time. What was their pig stop time? I missed that. Uh, CT Cuber Gamer completing a 3.95 second pig stop, so that's, that's not that right. bad. That's yeah, right. it doesn't explain the huge gap now. I'm, I'm, I, I mean, that's... my guess is the pit entry. The pit entry is actually like pretty hard. It, it looks fine, but it's actually really fast and it's pretty narrow. So I think it's really easy to graze the sides and lose a lot of speed, which you really want to maintain going into the slowdown strips. So yeah, like, absolutely. yeah, Hotspot going for the undercut right now. Yeah, yeah, it does come out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hotspot going into the pit, and judging by uh, when I saw their in-pit message come up and where they are when I teleported them, I don't think they messed up the entrance, so I think they might actually get the undercut here. They have a lot of time to work with those, like, with, like you said, 27 seconds plus pig stops. So it's about 30 seconds if they get a 3 second pig stop. So they have 4 seconds to toy with here. They can get a 7 second pig stop and be fine. Um, but let's see it happen. 2.25. Very, really good. That's actually, that definitely should get them in front. 
I think Hutzlot just got the fastest pig stop of the game, of the race, I mean. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. That was pretty good. Oh my goodness. All right, CG Cuber saying, no thanks. I don't think I'm going to come out ahead of you. So CG Cuber is also going in for the pit. Uh, believe it doesn't look like they may have done it. They may have they may have done it correctly this time. I believe actually Ludo is going to be able to fly past. Crumcat will also be able to get past, and Antonio Yes may be able to get past. So CT Cuber might be losing a lot of positions here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's interesting because yeah. I remember them. They were like way ahead of like everyone I thought, but now now they're not. I don't know what happened to that. Maybe it was just uh, my issue. I I thought they were like ahead of like everyone like Ludo and Crumcat, but. Absolutely. Damn. We have Ludo coming through, we have Crumcat coming through, and we also have Antonio Yes coming through. CT Cuber's not even exiting the pit stop yet, so that's kind of unfortunate. I wonder what happened there. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, let's see the uh, gaps here. It seems that Hotspot is battling for Ludofax in first place right now. I don't think he quite has the gap. I think Ludofax actually has the true position p1 yeah that's right what it looks now. like and i think um 25 second gap so ludofax is going to need something to go awfully wrong here to lose this time yeah crime cat also will probably come out in front of hotspot if hotspot pits um but that is hotspot's going to be probably around in telling you yes looking about a gap so um it's going to be a pretty interesting battle towards the last lap of this race with those two absolutely unless something changes like... absolutely always um Interesting, in the FC1 race, we also had a giant battle for second place. A bunch of drivers coming in for second place. Um, it looks like, actually, kind of almost like it was about the same gap. It looks like nobody's won this race yet. If Hotspot has something bad happen to... Uh, sorry, if Ludofax has something bad happen to them, they could end up losing a bunch of time to Hotspot. Hotspot looking like they are increasing their gap to Panna. And then Ludofax subsequently decreasing their gap, so it seems to be about the same. Yeah, gap is about like 26 seconds right now, 26 and a half, so still a little bit ahead of the Hotspot. pit delta. Mm. Hotspot only had 25 seconds at the beginning of this lap, so it looks like they gained about a second. Are they going to be able to do anything in the last lap or two? Um, Hotspot opting not to pit, so they're going to pit their last lap. About a couple minutes from now. When it goes... Check out Hotspot, see you have what air he has. And he does not have air. Uh-oh, this is very bad. <laughs> oh, like he has Renault out. in front we as well. We have Sammy B, and we have the triple uh -oh. Red. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, no! <laughs> Hotspot, avoiding them really well. Okay, that's good stuff for Hotspot. I don't know if Renault's gonna, like, immediately teleport ahead of them, but I, I think he's just gonna stay there. So uh, that's one overtake for Hotspot. Now you have to deal with Sammy B. Couple on this next few turns. We're actually having other people coming up to uh, Renocast right now. We have Panda64 cleanly going around. But I think this is going to end up being a problem for the leaders if he just sits here right on the apex. Ludo, <laughs> Crumcat, and Antonio, yes, all making their way around Renocast. Oh! Be DC'd. <laughs> all right, yeah, they're good. Unfortunate. <laughs> So it looks like they're all keeping the even amount of time. It looks like uh, Hotspot lost some time to, to dodging Reno, but everybody else had to do the same. So I believe Hotspot also was kind of getting close to Samik. Um, unless Samik just lost it right here. And they did. So it looks like Hotspot actually made it through Samik. Good work on their part. Um, actually, is Samik going to end up holding up the other drivers? That's another question. It looks like they have a ginormous gap to Panna64, and Panna has a big gap to Ludofax, so I don't think it's going to happen. Hotspot gaining another second on Ludofax, though. 27 seconds separate them. Almost 27 and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over 28. Oh, it looks like Hotspot's popping off right now, so they have to pit. I'm also curious about Crumcat. They have a one second gap to Ludo right now. Oh, actually, no, they're in tandem. They're in tandem to Capus. Ludo and, uh, Ludo and Crumcat are in uh, tandem. Point two gap. Good. Right. Coming right through. So I wonder. Ludofax might have messed up. This is going to be really close. Hotspot seems to have gotten. I watched his pit entry. He seemed to have got the pit entry correct. And now the pit. The, 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 the gap is 29. Is 29 oh! Seconds. Ludo's wide. Crumcat goes on the inside, gets out, spe out speeds. Gets in front. Ludofax. 
So they're coming through. Oh! Two people in the Cupcat eats the inside, oh no! Gets overtaken by two people, gets down to P4, I believe that is now. They get overtaken oh, Pan in the pits so for P3, but the Hotspot's gonna come out around them, I'd imagine. Let's go see Hotspot is exiting the pit right now. Right now, right now? Goodness. Oh, right now, right now. They're literally at the pit exit. This is gonna be really close. They're coming through. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like Ludo uh, Hotspot actually gets the overcut on everybody. Oh my goodness, it seems that problem that Ludofax had with Crumcat just gave him the fuse <laughs> the second he needed. Oh my goodness, so we have all four of these drivers right here. Anything can happen. Oh my goodness. So right now, Hotspot just needs to focus on putting in one good lap where he makes no mistakes. It looks like they have a lot of clean air ahead of him. Oh my goodness, never mind. <laughs> too soon. We have Samik B right here, thrown into the mix now. Hotspot coming up very fast behind Samik B. Lunofax right behind Antonio, yes, right on Lunofax. And Crumcat also trying to get those positions back. The race all comes down to how... Yeah, the race all comes down to how Hotspot and Lunofax deal with his back marker. Maybe even Antonio, yes, and Crumcat after they get past, if they do. Oh, gracious. Let's see if Samik can actually take this uh, corner correctly. Right, they're going a little bit wide. Looks like Hotspot was taking about the same line there. Lupifax also taking about the same line. Oh my goodness, Antonio Yes taking a really inside line. Crumcat also seems to take the good line. So maybe this uh, field will be start crunching up oh. a little bit. Looks like there's oh. a big gap here. No! Oh shit! Hotspot uh, has to on the outside. They're all in tandem right now. <laughs> Meek B goes wide, but we literally have Ludofax and Hotspot in tandem coming down the fifth last corner of this race. It's going to be a sprint to the line now. <laughs> it's because it's going to be a battle of courage. Who's going to be more willing to push way, way inside and take the best lines possible and really push their car and their boat to the absolute limit. Let's see it. They both are really inside. Corner. They're both taking it very good. All right. There's only three corners left, left folks. This is the hardest corner of the track right here coming up. Heavy braking zone. Let's see him take it. They both take it. Oh, oh they go a little goodness. bit wide, but a little bit wide. Ludofax, he's getting the hot spot successfully getting the switch back on him. Ludofax are coming around the last corner. Let's make sure they don't hit any of the blocks. Oh my goodness, they're coming through the line. Hot spot will take the win. Only 0.4 seconds ahead of Ludofax. Antonio is coming right behind, and Crumcat coming in fourth place to finish out FC2 Silverstone. 2023. Oh my goodness, that was so intense on the last few corners there. My goodness. Yeah, that was great. Oh my god. Like, I mean, going into this race, I saw like, what, 10 drivers? Now there's only 8 on the grid. And I was like, this is a long track, not many drivers. This isn't going to be an interesting race at all. But looking at it, dude, that was that was a great ending. That was, really, that was a really entertaining race all the way through. Absolutely. It's had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see through. Uh, also coming through was uh, CT Cuber HD coming in P5 and Pana coming in P6. None of these drivers were actually too far apart from each other. No, they um, weren't. Pana was 21 seconds behind Pudspot, so that's the top five racers coming in within 21 seconds of each other. That's actually pretty close. It is, yeah, yeah, very close. Absolutely. Oh, we got Crumcat <laughs> on the track a little bit. He's no one track. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Um, so we got uh, Skip Snuff on their last lap looks like they'll be rounding out p7 coming through they're just coming out of the uh s turns samik is also 31 seconds behind so they must be uh, right at the beginning of the s turns uh approaching the s turns all right let's go see skip snuff through these past few cor last few corners taking slightly wide lines <laughs> All right, taking a really tight line. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Eating a bunch of apex there. <laughs> Walter coming through, cheering on his, uh, cheering on his driver. I think actually, uh, they are teammates. And Walter, yeah, yeah, they're actually kind of uh, teammates. I saw Skip Snuff, uh, sort of team advising Walter in the last FC2 race. Skip Snuff coming through, doing P7. Walter seeing him through, and we also have Samik B coming in around the really difficult corner. Whoa! getting out towards that packed ice area but being able to come through and they will bring in p8 a very exciting race at fc2 silverstone all 
Alright. Our last driver, Sonique, coming down on the final corner. Get to finish up our race today. That was really fun. Oh my goodness, that was really fun. Doing a little 360. Good job on finishing the whole race. Very good. And there's your FC2 Silverstone. So let's get the uh, top people to the podium. Uh, we got Poodle Fax, we got Antonio Yes. Um, and Hot Spot. Here is our top three. Uh, should I teleport everybody to me? Uh, yeah, I, I think you can, yeah. All right. All right, let's, let's first put these people up on the podium, maybe. Or actually, no. At all. At S. Boom! <laughs> all right. So we have our top three. Let's bring them up to the podium. All right. Let's get top three to podium. All right. So we got... Here we got... Oh, there you go. 64. 